Hey guys, welcome to another episode of PingCast. Today's episode is about GNOME Shell extensions. First I'm going to show you around the GNOME Tweak tool, then I'm going to show you the GNOME Live extensions website, then I'm going to I'm going to tell you about some uh, useful applica or, uh, extensions that you might want for your shell. So, first, GNOME Tweak tool. Search for Advanced Settings, and you go to Shell Extensions. If you uh, want to enable Disable Extensions, you got System Monitor, Alternate Tab, Auto Move, you got your, uh, where is that? The card appio, that's your menu right here. This is where it'll go for enabling disabling of your shell extensions. Now, if you want to get more, now you don't have to add a uh, PPA anymore to get extensions. You can go to the GNOME 5 extensions website. So open up a web browser. You make sure it's up to date first. And then it'll uh, open up. Oops. And uh, search for GNOME extensions. And where is it? Here. Ah. Live.gnome.org. Nope, that's not it. Extensions.gnome.org. Here we are, yeah. Eight pages so far and counting. It's an alpha at the moment, but it's worked fine for me. I've tested it out. Basically, you just click on one of these. Just click on a link you like. And if uh, you like it, maybe it sounds good. Just click on the on button. And if it's not installed, it'll you click install and it'll install and it turns it on. And you can toggle it on and off. Now, one thing you must do before using this website. You need a GNOME Shell Integration plugin, otherwise it won't work. It's on PinGuy 11.10 by default, so you can immediately, as soon as you install it, you can benefit from this website. Well, you might want to update your GNOME first and do system updates. It's generally something you want to do as soon as you install the system, but it'll. Uh, you want to make sure you have your up-to-date GNOME because it's only compatible with a certain version. Uh, it's 3.2, I don't know how up-to-date that has to be before you can benefit from this, but just do your updates and y you, you'll know you'll be fine. And uh, you can browse through your installed extensions, and if you don't like it, some, let's see if it works. Yeah, you click the X and it goes away sometimes, uh, other times I've had it do nothing. As I said, it's in alpha, but here... You can toggle uh, extensions on and off from here. And I found some good extensions people have liked, like, uh, there was one to hide the top panel, if I can find it. And you got bottom panel, or panel favorites and bottom panel, let me see here. I'll just go ahead and show you the bottom panel. Install it. And here we have a bottom panel. Oops. Right. And the panel will also, uh, it's left to right now instead of up and down. Pretty cool. Got a lock screen, so you can click on that. Be nice if they added a search. I hope that's one thing they add. 
And you have to remove activities. Oh, and that's already being taken out by the card. Well, actually, I don't think it was Cardapio. When, uh, I think some of the uh, one of the extensions was inhibiting the uh, hot corner and the uh, the activities button. But yeah, there's an extension dedicated to that. Oh, that's a nice one. I could certainly use that one. That's very handy, actually, because you can, if this gets crammed up in here, you got a lot of stuff going, then this will just, your clock will just sort of, it'll just get the three dots going, and all you'll see, you know, maybe is FRI and then three dots, and you can't see your time. So that's quite handy. Yeah. Show desktop, I really like this one. You get this going at the top, it minimize everything except for Conky. Now, if I hit Control D, if this works for me, all right, it's not working for me right now. But it'll uh, it'll minimize Conky too. But this this will just everything except for Conky is really really awesome. I already got the system on. You got trash icon, Windows icon list. It it has just. Sort of like a panel if you have your windows going, but they're just icons. So that's that's an that's another neat thing. It also has its own minimized desktop button like this. Uh, it's got a lot of cool stuff. So you know, feel free to browse around. But yeah, it's a great way to get extensions, and it's really really neat. I mean, I I enjoy. It. I hope you enjoy. It. Check it out. You can. Uh, make your desktop a bit more customizable, add a bit more functionality, just make it that much cooler and have a much more enjoyable computing experience. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Pincast and stay tuned for next one.